Hello everyone, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. This is the last episode of our series, Role Level Security in Power BI. This is a very unique video. In today's video, you will get to know what to do if you have to compare your sales for a company versus the total sales of the entire organization. Or somebody is asking you to compare one branch data with all the branches across the world. So how to achieve that and how to calculate the percentage? So in this video, I'm going to explain you everything. But before going further, if you are new over here, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos. Please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. As you can see that I have created this report where we are going to implement total and percentages in a row level security in Power BI. If I'll go to the modeling tab over here, I can find my manage roles. Over here, I have created one role with the name sales. And here you can see that I have put a filter on sales territory table, which is equals to Canada. That means this role can only show all the sales for Canada only. Anyone who's added into this role, they can see the data only for Canada. But as I mentioned you, the challenge is over here, how we are going to see Canada sales versus total sales and how we can calculate the percentage over here. This is an example of static role level security. However, you can also implement it dynamically as I have already explained in my previous videos. Right now, if I'm gonna look at this role, just click on this view as and here I can select my role and click OK. As I just mentioned, this only going to represent you Canada's sales. And here you can see that $14.38 million is the sales amount for Canada only. Now again, if we have to represent this against the total sales of all the territories, how we are going to do that? That's the challenge. So what you can do first, you have to go into your data model and there you have to create one aggregate table. So, so what I have done over here, if I'll go into my data modeling here, you would find this fact reseller sales aggregate. I have created one aggregate table over here and that I have connected into my data model. Now, let me tell you how I did it. First, you have to go to this transform data. That means into your power query editor. Over here, I have duplicate this table factory sellers and this is going to be my aggregate table. But as you can see under the applied steps, I have grouped it. So if I'm going to double click over here, you would see how I have grouped it. That's how I have applied group by function under power query. So this is going to be my aggregate table. Earlier, there was no relationship. That means this relationship between DIM product and factory seller sales aggregate, I have created this. And similarly, I have created the same relationship with the DIM date table. I had to create this because if I have to calculate the total sales amount, then I can do that over here. Before proceeding further, you should remember that DIM date table can filter factory seller sales table. DIM sales territory table can filter fact reseller sales table. However, DIM sales territory table cannot filter fact reseller sales aggregate table. And that's where the logic is. We are applying our filter only on this table and this table, that means DIM sales territory table can filter fact reseller sales table. And our total amount is gonna be the same always. So what I have done over here, I came to this manage roles tab and over here, I have created this role sales where I have applied static role level security for Canada. Similarly, you can create for any other country like United Kingdom, Germany, Australia, or maybe for United States. Then click save. Once you've done this, then in the next step where I have prepared the demo, I have this total sales amount. Then I have total sales as well. And this total sales is coming from my aggregate table. Now I have also created my sales versus total sales. And how did I do that? Then there is a measure. And over here, if I'm going to click on this measure and let me just zoom it a bit. And over here, you can see that first I'm checking fact reseller sales table, total sales amount from here, then from my aggregate table and I'm just dividing them. After that, I did formatting into percentage up to two decimal places. That's all I did over here. Once I did this, now you can view this role. 
you can again go to this modeling tab click on view as once you've done this just click on sales which is our role that we have created and click ok here you can see the total amount for canada then you can see your total amount overall from all the records or all the territories that is available over here and also you can get the my sales versus total sales that's how we can calculate total and percentages in a row level security power bi model if you would like to test it you can do that too for that first you have to publish this report over here i'm not going to publish it because i have already published it and where i have added one user under the security role over here you can see that i have already published this report so let me go back over here and under data sets i'm going to come to this episode 8 over here i'm going to go to my security and here you can see i have added two admin account and merit account what i'm going to do i'm going to test as role so just click over here test as role and it's going to test the role that we have created and we can see our sales amount total sales and my sales versus total sales over here for canada because the role that we have created it's only for canada what's next dynamic total and percentages in row level security power bi data model how to implement it well you have to just try if you have implemented dynamic row level securities before then definitely you can do that you can follow the same approach over here using the aggregated table and i'm sure you would come out with flying colors if you have any question and concern please don't forget to let us know thank you so much guys for being a part of our family Please stay tuned for more exciting videos.